Olá, bom dia. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, vamos lá para o segmento, então, a formação do plural em português, os substantivos em português. Let's skip sim. The plural formation of the nouns in Portuguese. Okay. Here. In our little whiteboard. So, we have these endings. That's called de tongue aberto in Portuguese, okay? An open dithong. Oi, I, L. Okay? So, herói, hero. Heróis, just that S. Pai, father. Pais, just that the S. Só acrescento o S daí. Cell, cell. Sky, cells. Just put an S at the end as well. Okay. Cells, skies. Irmã, irmã, sister. Irmãs, irmãs, plural, sisters. Mãe, mãe, mom, mother. Mães, mães. Just put an S at the end. Okay. You don't change anything at the ending of the word. Alright? I will show some more. We need to add ES. Tem que acrescentar e é seu final delas. Cor, cor, color, cores, cores, colors. Vez, vez, time. But in uh, this time. Okay. Vezes, vezes. Add and S. Acrescent S. The ones that end in N. Okay, these are Latin or Greek words. Those are palavras gregas or latinas. Ifen, ifen, ifens, ifens. Pollen, pollen, pollens, pollens. Neutron, neutron, neutrons, neutrons. You just add an S. Pay attention that if these ones. Presta atenção que com essas aqui, no singular, no singular, you have the acute accent. Plural, it loses it. Okay? Ethens, pollens, neutrons. And here, the circumflex accent is also taken out here. Okay? Tira fora o circunflexo aqui também. Certo, pessoal? Uh, tem bem mais exemplos da formação do plural e eu vou continuar dando eles nas próximas aulas, ok? There are many more examples and we'll keep showing them in the next videos, alright? So, thanks for watching, stay tuned, subscribe, peace out, obrigado por assistir.